<laughs> right, welcome back to Sinky City. We've just spoken to uh, fucking Monkeyan from Thundercats there, and now we're. Uh, I will just go back to the rowing boat in case the things that I've already looked at now trigger something else. What? Right, every single one of these fucking games has a half-eaten fucking shark in it. Why? Oh, there's something else there. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Wow. Titania. That well-known pronunciation from Shakespeare. Bear. Seems you're getting all the fucking uh, stuff wrong. Yes, if his head was still in it. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Yeah. Is it not Titania? You know, the pronunciation that everybody uses. Hello, random man. Right. Uh, I'm guessing one of you. I've said everything I know. What? I've said everything I know. Not to me. Like a drummer from a, a metal band. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Don't do anything yeah, stupid, yeah. newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see so them. Everyone has exactly one line of dialogue. Unless it goes into full conversation mode. Gotcha. Yep, I already have. So. I'm guessing. Can I actually walk, or do I have to jog everywhere? I don't think walk is an option, is it? There's just run. Documents, the will, case book. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Combine clues to make deductions. Right, okay. Is here? It's weird that I just jog everywhere. It's like... <sighs> Nobody's that enthusiastic about an investigation. Right, hang on. Well, how many marks are on the front door? I've got three marks on the front door, which apparently is on both sides. Right, so it's either three lines or it's one. You know, like one stru strike through. That doesn't have any. This has three. Right, when it has that, you have to press and hold. Bunk bed. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Okay. Anything with that, Not that, without the book. Yep. Bad. 
that full of fish. Obviously. Oh, hello. The hello, crazy people. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. What? How about who the fuck are you? <laughs> It'll take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Oh, hello. You're just invading this fucking crime scene, eh? Here's right here, but someone tried to flee through the fucking wall. Nice. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? I told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Okay, so the graphical quality of the characters isn't great. The lighting shit, they just look like they're fucking plastic. But the wrinkles appearing on his nose when he scrunched up his eyes, that was really good. I want to know what happened to you. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? He put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and And he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. So that'll start. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Can't be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. I'm to suspect the worst. Who's this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our life, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. May he have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir. Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you... Are you sure? They just fucking let you walk in. Afraid of what I might dream. So... Is Kate just a really, really subtle reference to... Cthulhu. And it's not actually K, K A Y, it's the letter K, and they're doing a different spelling to what's normal. Normal as much of a word that's not supposed to be humanly speakable. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. So, that's what an in's mouther looks like. Can we open it? Nope. You said that's what an in's mouth looks like. Let me look at it. So, that's what an in's mouth I'm going to have a look at this photograph. Oh, yes. I can see all the detail. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Okay, so we're in the 20s. I 
seen knives like this before. Masterful work. And I'm not gonna steal it. Oh, I was still in spooky mode. Right. That makes sense. Oh, right. Okay, so I can, I can spookify any time. Okay. It's a uh, weird shit. Can't tell if that's his beard or part of his face is missing. Cause I suppose it's good zoom in on the camera. Just looting your house. Ah, oh, well, you did say he works on the railroad. Okay. Oh, I was about to say it's a nice touch, you know, a few. It's a memorabilia relating to a character you've to spoken to. You know, two trains daily, railway magazine, a uh, picture of uh, the Great Pain Cure, and then you look over here, the Great Pain Cure, two trains daily, two trains daily, railway magazine, railway magazine, two I mean, come on. You fucking duplicated it in within fucking four inches of each other. Just be it. a pulp. Okay. Oh, right, I get it. That's an inn's motherfucking. Look at fucking old fish head there. I would rightly know, sir. Fox from around here, it from around here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> ah, so he shot him. See his face. Oh, can barrel the fuck out of him. Yeah, run. Okay, let's see what we have here. Come on. Yeah, run. No, it obviously hasn't ex. Explained. Ruffy place. Thank you for the raid. So. What's happening? So. Take this, ape face. I'm guessing. Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. Well, that was the attack difficult. The fisherman and his hysteria spread to them. <sighs> wounded, he fled. Right. 
How we doing? Um. Why? I'll look away for a second. The next minute you try to shoot yourself with your gun that doesn't actually have a hollow barrel. So, we and no bullets in it. So, good luck with that. Right. Fisherman brought unconscious Albert from once to his house. Left when I woke up, causing that burst of hysteria. Attack with the fisherman. All well, the fishermen shot him, and Albert fled through a hole in the wall. Uh, Innsmouth, uh, Lewis Flynn. So is that the one that shot him? Lewis shot without warning. An Innsmouth, a fisherman. Uh... I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. This is how you turn clues into deduct. No, yeah, do clues into deductions. So, Albert turned unstable. Albert Throgmont spread some sort of psychic influence which it made everyone that's nearby suffer hysteria. Okay. Uh, returned unstable and attacked them. Albert Throgmont was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Yeah. No. Uh, there were three fishermen in the house when so I woke up, but I only found two of them. No. No. Yes. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Of course. Uh, Lewis shot without warning. Throgmorton ends in a feud. Yeah. As an Innsmouth, uh, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate him. Based on the knowledge of being in town. Ten minutes, yeah. I can track down Albert. Can you now? I've got the fish on Yep. So I just need to find where he fled to, I assume. Ah, these symbols light up. Okay. Well, we know there was one on the door, one on the box downstairs. There's mm, one in here. Let's see one. Useless cop. No one's getting in and out other than me who just walked in. Uh, there's one there, and there is one there. We don't really know what it means. Okay. Got to go out onto the balcony. Oh, it's all the handprints. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Well, we already know who. Oh, I went up onto there. It doesn't. Okay, so that green meter on <laughs> just there, which is partially obscured by me. Um, so I've got some kind of health and stamina, uh, 
sanity bar, which hasn't really been explained, the sanity thing. Does, does it go down every time I use this? Yeah. Okay, right. There's a dude here. Run this way. Ooh, everything's going all uh, hand printy. So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Hmm. The fuck is that? Jimmy can't keep fucking photos. That is a weird looking fucking rat. There's like something coming out of that. It, it's like a fucking hermit crab wearing a rat. That is not normal. But why should it be? That's fucking weird. Right, uh, what was I doing? Hiya. Oh, weirdy. Weirdy vision. So the fisherman pursued out. Yeah, we know this. Even let off a few shots. Do these indicate stashes? Is that what it's for? Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Albert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay. Can't get in there. Now that I know how to use that spooky ability, I'll go back again to the rowing boat and just look at that helmet under spooky vision and see what happens. It's not one of these things where if you look into the fucking sky, you can see something, is it? We um, we once played a tabletop roleplay thing where uh, it was set in uh, essentially like an Innsmouth style town, and uh, something with this helmet gives me chills. It comes out more, but can't really do anything with it. No. Um, it's annoying me, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, the town. Um, and one of the characters uh, looked through a telescope and saw the fucking Elder Thing or Great Old One or whatever the fuck it was that was in the sky. Uh, that was just like tentacles. And uh, went mad. You went that way. So I'm going to look this way. Feel the gentle touch of tentacles. The fuck? How about no? Well, I'm not supposed to be going this. What? Jesus fucking Christ. Blackwood Marsh Fish Cannon Factory. Well, Marsh is to do with Innsmouth, isn't it? 
the marsh refinery. Whoa, what happened then? Uh, where did you go? You go in there. Warehouse. Then, uh, Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. Don't have enough stock to operate. Bar smoothly with the fuzz sleeping about the port. Don't worry, struck a nice deal with the pr with the proper people. Should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Yeah. The blood is fresh. Whoever it belongs to could not have gotten far. I'm sure. Gunpowder. Like a barrel. Shoot. Not our lock. Oh god, look at that. Fucking puddles come into existence within a certain range. Interesting. Fake wall, anybody? Yeah, so this just indicates like stashes then, does it? Padlocks, press T for more information. Padlocks can broke on a shot or melee attack. Right, but it just opened. Without me doing anything. Ah, because it's not on about that. Fair enough. So, uh, melee attack was E, I think. Door won't budge. <laughs> yeah, it will. Oh, hello. Whoa, what the fuck are you? Uh Ah, guns don't reload themselves. You're right, they don't. Don't clip through the door and fucking hit me. What the fuck? Oh. I mean, come on. Why can't I photograph this? Yeah, that's that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's him. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. I accidentally. Hung myself on a meat hook and then shot myself in the head. And then took the gun away and then put myself back on the hook. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. But again, it's not a fucking clue. Why can you photograph fuck all? There's compulsory dead whale. Another one of these things. Spooky vision. Doesn't really show me anything. Okay, mine palace. Found the body, fatally shot in the head, impaled on hooks, and then hidden. And then hidden. Not exactly fucking hidden, is he? 
Uh, yeah, to the bloodstained knot. Right, Mind Palace. Lewis. No. Lewis pursued Albert. And he fled. He may have wanted to kill him because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Yep. Uh... Lewis and we probably killed left side. Lewis and Intimate that could maybe hiding at the bar. I don't get how they were linked together there, but uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Maybe hiding at the bar and up. Okay. In terms of the other man, he was murdered, but I haven't found. Any other clues as to why? Uh, so let's go tell uh, King Louis what happened with this fucking kid. Oh, yeah. Right. So those lines just indicate looting, basically. Anything with scratchy lines on it. Is a lootable item. Or may contain lootable items. I can go around this side today. I don't. Well, you were there a minute ago. He Hello? Hello. Okay. All right. So we need to go back to um, to the dad and tell him what happened. So uh, that will be a long and boring conversation. So we will leave it here for this episode. Pick it up. Go and talk to him. In the next one.